Okay. No intros, no editing, no background music, no nothing. This is a raw reaction to the proposal made by MLB to the Players Association, and it's not good. Now, let me preface this by saying I am not discounting any of the struggles that you at home will are going through because of this virus. I get a lot of you are in financial insecurity because you might have lost your job. You might have got your hours cut. But just understand I'm talking about it from a player's point of view. I am not trying to discount the fact that normal people are suffering right now. I just wanted to get that out there. Now, Rob Manfred is ruining the sport of baseball. This proposal, and it's in the article made by Jeff Passan and Jesse Rogers. They have proposed cutting the salaries of the highest paid players in baseball while giving the lowest paid players full prorated shares. It's not that terrible to begin with. Now, this paragraph right here. While the size of the pay cuts is unclear, sources said the highest paid players under the proposal will receive perhaps less than 40% of their salary. Do you think Mike Trout is accepting that? Do you think Cody Bellinger is accepting that? No. The answer is no. Rob Manfred is basically saying we can play this without you because we want to cut your salary to give to the owners. I get it. The owners are suffering right now. But why are we agreeing with them? Why are we basically saying the owners can steal money from the players after they agreed to a contract. To me, this is utterly ridiculous. I get it. The owners are losing like 600K per game if they play because there's going to be no fans. But seriously, they, they had an agreement in place saying that they were going to get prorated salaries. It's in the article. They said the players are basically scoffing at the fact that they want to take less, uh, take more than 60% of their salary because they had an agreement already in place. Major League Baseball is trying to backtrack that agreement, which is bullshit. If they agreed that they'll be paid based on their salary for the amount of games they play, so if they play... Sorry. If they play 82 games, they'll get half their salary because that's half the games of a Major League Baseball season. Now they want them to cut over 60% of their salaries. They want them to be locked in hotels away from their families. Look, even if... The players were getting paid right. Chris Bryant might not play. Mike Trout might not play. Why? Because they have children. They're not trying to be locked away from their children for five to six months. It's not like they're older children. These are infant child. Infant children. Sorry. There's no way they're going to like miss this portion of their life. It's just not going to happen. And I don't only say Rob Manfred is ruining the sport of baseball because of this. This is the tip of the iceberg. But he but he was on the hot seat with how he handled Houston. Adam Silver, the NBA's commissioner, if he would have heard the Yankees' complaints back in 2016, 
he would have taken this thing 100% serious. He would have been all in on investigations within the first month of the end of the accusations. Rob Manfred wanted to sweep it under the rug. And how does that help the sport of baseball? I guess maybe they're proving that even a middle of the pack market could make it to the top. But now that's all washed up. Now middle market teams are saying, well, now the only way we can win is if we put a Cameron freaking center field aimed at the catcher's signs and steal them. That's the only way a middle to low market team can win because Rob Manfred did not bite this in the ass and said, you know what, I'm going to let them win a championship. And then when he did do his investigation, already too late, but he, he did an investigation, he, he, that was not enough in the punishment. I am sorry, if you are going to cheat that much to win a championship, you got to take that trophy. Take that trophy out of the stadium. Don't let people 100 years from now, 200 years from now, because we hope baseball is still played 100 years from now, 200 years from now. Don't let them go back in the record books and say, oh, Houston Astros won the 2017 championship because they didn't do it fairly. And no one's going to look into it now because it's cemented in the record books. People are going to look into back in the 90s when the strike happened. They canceled the World Series. People are going to look into why there was no World Series champion. Well, they striked to get what they wanted. Now, please, if anyone has anything good Rob Manfred has done that exceeds any exceeds the Astro situation and exceeds the extreme mishandling of what he's doing right now please please put it in the comments down below i really want to know what he has done that has helped the sport enough to forget about the fact that he screwed up with the astro situation and he's screwing up right now and trying to get us baseball in 2020 He's basically, he basically wants mid-level players to play. Now, big baseball heads like me are still going to watch. But how is this game going to grow if Mike Trout's not playing, if Cody Bellinger, Aaron Judge, and all the top players in baseball are not playing? How is this sport going to grow? It just baffles me how this guy... He just keeps on screwing up. Who's in this corner? Who's in his corner telling him that these are good decisions? And to everyone who's defending his decision on trying to take all this money, why? Why are you trying to put more money into the billionaire's pockets? Why are you trying to put more money into the Steinbrenners of the world? He's a great owner, but he's already a million, a billionaire. Why are we trying to take the money from the players providing the product to put into the owner's pockets? Please let me know. Why are we doing this? To me, Rob Manfred has been an utter disappointment ever since Bud Selig retired. And this to me is just the tip of the iceberg. We need a new commissioner and we need one soon. Because if we want this sport to grow... We need someone better to control this sport. All right, I think I'm done ranting for now, but if you agree with me in this video and you enjoyed it, leave a like down below. If you're new here, hit that sub button. I do baseball content all the time. Usually I edit these videos, but today I just wanted to do my raw reaction to the situation at hand. Uh, comment down below your thoughts. Do you think he handled this correctly? Please explain to me why if you do. And yeah, that's it. Subscribe if you're new, so it'll help me get to 200 subs. And I'm out of here. Peace.